हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand a problem on DTFT. Here, we need to find discrete time for a transform of the signal which is given, and also we need to evaluate x of omega at omega is equal to zero. From the definition of DTFT, we know x of omega. We can write it as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now, if we observe the given sequence, this sequence is ranging from minus two to two. If you take this five as an origin point, so we can say this sequence is ranging from minus two to two. So that's why we can write the summation of n is equal to minus two to two x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now let us substitute different values of x of n. From minus two to two, at ten is equal to minus two, we'll get x of minus two exponential to the power of j two omega plus at ten is equal to minus one, we'll get x of minus one exponential to the power of j omega plus at ten is equal to zero, we'll get x of zero plus at ten is equal to one, we'll get x of one exponential to the power of minus j omega. Plus at n is equal to two, we'll get x of two exponential to the power of minus j two omega. Now we know x of minus two is one, x of minus one is three, x of zero is five, x of one is three, x of two is one. So let us substitute those values in this equation. So we'll get one exponential to the power of j two omega. Plus three exponential to the power of j omega plus five plus three exponential to the power of minus j omega plus one exponential to the power of minus j two omega. Now let us rearrange the above equation. So we can write first. Let us write five plus. Let us write exponential to the power of j two omega plus exponential to the power of minus j two omega. Plus three exponential to the power of j omega plus three exponential to the power of minus j omega. So these two term we can write in the form of cos wave, in the form of cos signal. Therefore, we can write the above equation as five plus two cos two omega plus six cos omega. This is d t of t of the given sequence. Now, at omega is equal to zero, x of omega will be equal to five plus two plus six, so that will be equal to thirteen, because cos zero will be equal to one. Let us take the second problem. Here we need to evaluate. d t of t of the given sequence and also we need to find x of omega at omega is equal to 0 again it is similar to the previous problem so we can write the standard formula for d t of t that is x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n If we observe the given sequence, this sequence is again ranging from minus two to two. If we take this as origin point, therefore we can write x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus two to two x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now let us substitute the value of n from minus two to two. So we will get x of minus two. Exponential to the power of two j omega plus x of minus one exponential to the power of j omega plus x of zero plus x of one exponential to the power of minus j omega plus x of two exponential to the power of minus j two omega. So we can write the above equation by substituting the value of n from minus two to Two in this equation. 
so we'll get 1 exponential to the power of j2 omega plus 2 exponential to the power of j omega plus 3 plus 2 exponential to the power of minus j omega plus exponential to the power of minus j 2 omega so let us rearrange the above equation first let us write 3 plus 2 exponential to the power of j omega plus 2 exponential to the power of minus j omega plus exponential to the power of j 2 omega plus exponential to the power of minus j 2 omega again these two term and these two term we can write in the form of cos signal so we can write the above equation as 3 plus 4 cos omega plus 2 cos 2 omega so this is the dtft for the given sequence at omega is equal to 0 we can write x of omega is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 2 that is equal to 9 since cos 0 is equal to 1. Now let us consider the next problem here we need to find dtft of the given sequence x of n. Now let us start with writing the formula of dtft which is x of omega that is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n we can write this equation as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity if we substitute the value of x of n so we can write 0 0.5 whole to the power of n plus 2 u of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n so again u of n will be equal to 1 for n value ranging from 0 to infinity for other values of n so u of n will be equal to 0 so using this let us write the above summation as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity 0 0.5 whole to the power of n into 0 0.5 whole to the power of 2 so what we have done we have split this term and we have written in this form into exponential to the power of minus j omega n so we can write the above equation as so if we take this 0 0.5 whole square outside the summation so we can write 0 0.5 whole square into summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity 0 0.5 whole to the power of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n so we can write the above term as 0 0.5 whole square into summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity so 0 0.5 whole to the power of n and exponential term we can combine and write so 0 0.5 i will write it as 1 by 2 exponential to the power of minus j omega whole to the power of n now we know the formula summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity alpha to the power of n we can write it as 1 divided by 1 minus alpha so using this formula so we can write the above equation as x of omega is equal to 0 0.5 whole square i will write it as 1 by 4 into 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 exponential to the power of minus j omega so this is the dtft of the given sequence you take this as assignment question so for this you should get final answer as x of omega is equal to 1 by 4 exponential to the power of minus j omega divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 exponential to the power of minus j omega whole square so this is the answer you need to get and you can use the formula summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity n alpha to the power of n so you can write this as alpha divided by 1 minus alpha whole square so you can use this formula and you can solve this to get this answer this is about problems on dtft hope you have understood the topic thank you